Scotty, welcome to News Nation Now. Great to see you. Thanks for having me on. Appreciate it. So as you prepare for tonight's benefit concert, how are you feeling? Uh, you're a North Carolina resident yourself. This is obviously near and dear to you. Um, what's going through your mind right now? You know, I love my home state. I love everything about it. I love the people. And it's been uh, it's been sad these last few weeks just seeing the devastation and hearing the stories. And um, we've gone to the mountains a couple of times now to, to see what we can do, bringing supplies and stuff. So um, a night like this is just going to be so special and bring the community together. And um, I think it's going to have a long lasting impact, which is what, like you said, it's going to need because I think this is going to be a years long recovery. Yeah, I mean, it totally is. You and I, both being from North Carolina, we know these cute, cute, adorable mountain towns, not just Asheville, but everywhere around as well. Black Mountain and Lake Lure. Look, they are, they, they look completely different. Chimney Rock, and they're never going to look the same again. But it's the people that live there. It's not just the landscape, but the people. Um, talk about what you've been hearing from your friends and family who are still there. What are they struggling with today, a month out from the storm? Yeah, you know, being up there a couple of times now, it's been great to see out of this horrible situation, just a, uh, a neighbor helping, neighbor, neighbor mentality, uh, folks just all coming together. The, do the donations are, are coming in, just pouring in from all over. I mean, they're getting all sorts of stuff, which is great. Um, again, I think six months from now, a year from now, we still need to be thinking about them. But um, it, it's tough, but, you know, they're a resilient group of people on those mountains, hardworking folks, and uh, they're, uh, they're going to get through this, but it just might take a while. Now, I he understand that you named your son after Avery County. Love it. And you also proposed to your wife and married your wife in those, those same mountains. Just how special is this to you? And how important is it for other people to experience the magic of North Carolina and come back? Because once they start and finish rebuilding or once they get to a place where they can start welcoming more tourists, they need those dollars desperately, don't they? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it, once it's safe, I mean, a lot of these towns are built on tourism. Avery County is, is where I grew up going to ski. We went to Sugar Mountain my whole childhood. We still do. Um, but you're right. I got engaged there and, and married there. It, I've just fallen in love with the mountains and the mountain people and the, all those communities, like you said. So um, it, it really is, uh, even just seeing this picture, the devastation is tough to even imagine before this. You know, I've never seen anything like this, but um, just little by little, we'll, we'll get there. Well, I'm so proud to be working at News Nation to know that we're staying on this story and that we are not forgetting about folks in Western North Carolina uh, because, you know, sometimes these headlines, they come and they go. We're a month out and we're still talking about it. The show, I understand, tonight, today sold out, uh, but people can watch at home. How does all of that work if this is tugging on their heart and they want to be able to help this cause and also enjoy some great music today? Yeah, well, they can go online to a thing called Veeps, and uh, Veeps is where they can purchase the live stream. If you're in one of the affected areas, it's free to watch, but outside, um, you can purchase a live stream to watch the show tonight. It's going to be unreal. I mean, uh, like you said, Eric Church and uh, Luke Combs, but also James Taylor is going to be here, and, and uh, we've we got so many great artists. So all the donations, all the uh, all the money is going to Hurricane Relief for North Carolina and the surrounding areas. So um, it, it's a great way to have fun and, and also help people out. Yeah, you know, um, I, I know you probably don't want to get too political on us at all, but Beyonce last night coming out with Vice President Kamala Harris. What do you make of all of these celebrities, um, you know, getting in on the action in this crucial political campaign and uh, 10 days out from the election? Yeah, you know, I think everybody's going to go about it differently. And, and you know, for me, I, I can tend to keep those to my family and friends, my opinions. But uh you know, we do have a platform, you know, and you want to use it for good. Uh, and so for me, that's why I'm here tonight is because, uh, you know, we're, this gig, obviously, for us, we're doing this for free. We're giving all this money to, uh, to the folks in Carolina. So, um, you know, you just want to use these platforms for good in the world. Absolutely. And it's great that you've been able to see it firsthand as well. I'm sure those images are seared in your mind. Um, who are you the most excited about singing alongside tonight? It's quite, quite the star-studded lineup. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be fun. We, we do have a little, uh, there's going to be a little sing-along at some point in the show that I'm excited about just to be on stage with all these artists. And James Taylor, my first concert as a kid um, was James Taylor. So to get a chance to see him yeah. up there is, is uh, it's going to be special. Yeah, in my mind, I'm going to Carolina. That was one of the first songs that I thought of. I reached out to, to him on social media as well. Um, Scotty McCreary, thank you so much. While you're here, do you want to sing a couple notes for us from your latest song or Ring of Fire or something? <laughs> 
Oh, we got a song out called Fall of Summer right now. If you want to check it out, it's a good time of year to listen to it. But uh, we, uh, we just might play it tonight. So. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.